And now for the EFD group, for one minute, Mr Clark. The Employment Commissioner says free movement of workers is a key principle of the single market, which is why in 2004 only Sweden, Ireland and the UK exerted restrictions on 10 new member states. The then British Home Secretary, Jack Straw, now says that opening borders to Eastern Europe immigration was a spectacular mistake. While Mr Barroso recently admitted that the influx of Eastern Europeans was putting pressure on communities and leads to abuse in some cases. Is realism now appearing? For Croatia, 13 member states out of 27 will use restrictions, including France, Germany, Italy, Netherlands, while Germany and Austria will restrict posted workers. Now, will Croatians join Bulgarians and Romanians in having first call on jobs in preference to third country nationals, as in the Commission's statement of April last year. But that, Chairman, is discrimination. And I raised this twice in Employment Committee last year, not to receive an answer. I now require a Commission answer as to why this discrimination continues. Unemployment in the European Union is high. People go to other countries to work and not to benefit uh, from uh, social welfare. They help the economy. Mr. Clark, where did you see the advantage these people are given to work? Just the opposite. Your citizens uh, were frightened uh, that Bulgarians and Romanians would cause a tsunami. And, uh, in fact, uh, many were disappointed when, on January the 1st, there weren't millions of Bulgarians ready to take your jobs. How do you think this can happen, given that Bulgaria has only 7 million? We need a methodology to ensure freedom of movement. This is the only way in which we can prevent populism and nationalism. Freedom of movement, movement is not subject to negotiation. Ms. Yodova, a blue card from Mr. Clark. Okay? Okay. Mr. Clark, you have the floor. Thank you, President. In answer to the lady, I was quoting an official European Commission document circulated in Employment Committee in April last year, which clearly and unambiguously stated that in any competition for jobs anywhere in the EU, anybody from Bulgaria or Romania applying shall be given first choice over anybody from outside the European Union. That's what I said, and that is what I meant, and that, Madam, is discrimination outlawed under the Lisbon Treaty, and I want to know why it continues. Well, I'm afraid, uh, Mr. Derek, that you're reading the European legislation as the devil read the Gospels. The EU is a community, a body of laws which you are systematically violating to the detriment of people who wish to work anywhere in Europe. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here in this room, would you? Mrs. Steinrock, there is a blue card for you from Mr. Clark. You, you don't want it? Okay. Sorry, Mr. Clark. Your blue card has been refused. The speech, President, just for one moment. I wasn't blue carding Mrs. Steinbrook. I was asking to respond to the lady over there who named me for a second time in her response, and I require the right to reply. Okay. You, you have th th 30 seconds. Come on. Thank you very much, President. The lady concerned talked about my misinterpretation or overuse of regulations written and otherwise by the Commission. Mr. President, this whole House works by the written regulations. Only recently we've had two examples in voting in this committee where a rapporteur was overturned in his request because he hadn't conformed to the exact written requ requisition that he was asking for. The whole thing is that this place runs by written regulation. And I repeat, the regulation about workers from Bulgaria and Romania having pride of place over third country nationals was in a commission document of April last year, and Mr Andor will confirm that. Thank you, Mr Clark. 
to mr clark i think it is also a very important clarification to say that the equal rights under the free movement of workers do not mean discrimination against third country nationals. for example the fact that in this house there are no chinese or australian members does not mean that there would be discrimination against chinese or australian nationals it simply means that these countries are not members of the european union. the fact that chinese or australian nationals do not enjoy the same rights under the free movement of workers in the eu is also simply associated with the fact that these countries are not eu members and it is not in any form discrimination against those citizens. i hope this helps to clarify the legal aspects of free movement. thank you very much mr chairman.